our neighbor, the moon, with Lunar Eclipse Viewing Guide for the Lunar Eclipse happening this Sunday. Hello and welcome back to the Cosmic Companion. A lunar Eclipse on the night of May 15th is offering us a perfect opportunity to learn more about our planetary companion. We're going to tell you more about how to view this eclipse, but first, let's learn about our neighbor, the moon. The moon, our planetary neighbor in space, appears serene and tranquil from the surface of Earth. You always have to watch out for those neighbors. However, our passive planetary partner has a dramatic history full of violent impacts which began with the birth and its chaos of the young solar system. Roughly 4.5 billion years ago, our planet was a far different place than the one we know today. The nascent Earth was a lava world, orbiting an infant star surrounded by billions of pieces of debris just zipping through space. For several million years, a Mars-sized body called Theia orbited the Sun along with Earth, often passing the orbit of our infant planet. Eventually, perhaps inevitably, these worlds collided, changing our planet forever. Kaboom! During the course of this massive impact, Theia shattered, wreaking havoc with our own world in turn. The core of this Mars-sized crunchy impactor merged with Earth's gooey center, yum, while other pieces fragmented, entering orbit around our planet. These remnants quickly came together, forming the moon. This process may have begun in less than a hundred years after impact. The oldest rocks on the moon formed an ocean formed from an ocean of liquid magma. At the time, the moon was much closer to the Earth than it is today. During its earliest era, the infant lunar was separated from our planet by a distance less than 7% of the distance it holds today. Here on Earth, entire days lasted just six hours, much like weekends. Evidence for this great impact hypothesis includes the vast amount of rotational energy still held by the pair of bodies, the, the light core of the moon, and the lack of water and gases held within the lunar crust. For 600 million years, the moon along with Earth was continually pelted by asteroids and comets. These events created some of the largest impacts that we still see evidence of on the moon today. As the crust of the young moon solidified, hot magma seeped through cracks in the crust, which cooled, forming the dark, smooth maria or seas, which we still look, which we still see as we look up in the moon during our present age. For the last billion years, moons remained a relatively quiet place apart from being visited by 12 simian-like visitors from the next planet over 50 years ago. That was fun. Nearly every child recognizes the phases of the moon as our planetary comrade appears to change night to night as it goes about its orbital dance with the Earth. Looking deep into the universe, we see backwards in time. And the oldest light in the universe holds secrets to how everything around us will, one day, end. Meanwhile, stars, planets, and galaxies dance in an intricate ballet, occasionally giving birth to life. We are a fledgling species, just beginning to visit other worlds. We are a way for the universe to understand itself. The Cosmic Companion strives to bring the universe down to Earth. And we depend on your help to make it happen. For information on subscriptions and ways to donate to this program, please visit thecosmiccompanion.net. Thank you. Once in a while, the moon passes into the shadow cast but through space by Earth. During these lunar eclipses, light from the lunar surface turns red, and our planetary companion can even seem to almost disappear. Sky gazers across most of the Americas and Western Europe will have a chance to witness such a total lunar eclipse on the night of the 15th of May. 
Now the exact time of the eclipse and what you might see depends in large part on where one lives. For viewers in the southwest United States, the eclipse will be starting at moonrise right around 7 p.m., becoming most dramatic around 9 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, that's midnight Eastern, and tipping off starting about 11 on the west coast or 2 for those of you on the east coast of the U.S. Now, the orbit of the moon around Earth is tilted by about 5 degrees from the orbit of the Earth around the sun. This tilt is the reason that lunar eclipses do not take place every month as the moon slips behind Earth. However, occasionally, the moon does sneak into the shadow of its larger companion. The shadow of Earth has a larger, more diffuse outer region surrounding a darker cone. When the moon passes through this outer layer of shadow, it dims slightly producing a penumbral eclipse. When part of the moon passes through the darker shadow, we experience a partial eclipse. And during months when the moon passes totally into the Earth's dark shadow, we see a, follow me here, total lunar eclipse. Last time that took place was in May of 2021, so about a year ago. The night of the 15th also marks the point when the moon is close to, is near its closest point to Earth, a supermoon, pretending a magnificent celestial display. It will be awesome. Now, eclipses offer magnificent opportunities to share astronomy with children. No special equipment is needed to enjoy a lunar eclipse, just a comfortable chair and a good view to the southeast. And, hopefully, clear skies. As always, the best views are going to come to those under darkest skies, so do try to stay away from city lights. Another lunar eclipse will take place on the 7th of November for people living in the Americas, Oceania, and Asia. Unlike solar eclipses, lunar eclipses take place over the course of hours. This particular one's going to last about five hours. Now, if you can only see the beginning or the end of the event, it's still worth going outside and looking up at the moon, our planetary neighbor. Join us next week when we look at ways to help children fall in love with science. We're going to be talking with Kelly Hargrave, author of the new book, can't get enough shark stuff. Now available from National Geographic. So make sure to take a bite out of that episode starting on the 17th of May. <sighs> Please subscribe, follow, and share this episode. Tell your family, friends, and even random strangers on the street about this show. They'll love you for it, really. Visit us at thecosmiccompanion.tv or find us pretty much anywhere online. Enjoy the eclipse and clear skies.